Hey everybody, so this is going to be my Ipsy bag unboxing for May 2015. I wasn't intending to film this right now. I actually just got home from my daughter's fourth birthday party. It was a gymnastics party and it arrived in the mail and um, I took it out and I was like, you know what, before I go through this, why don't I just turn on the camera um, and show you guys what's in it and get this video done at the same time. So that's what I'm doing. This is what the bag looks like. The contents, my life. Little lipstick, it's like a burlap type bag. And then when I open it up, I already pulled the first thing out. This is what it is. It's from Urban Decay Revolution High Color Lip Gloss. And then when you open this up, inside it looks like you get two samples of their lip gloss. So one is Fail Bait and one is Bittersweet. One's a really cool looking purple, which I'm definitely going to try out. And the other one's like a rosy pink color. And then it says use ozone 24-7 glide on lip pencil to prime. So then there's this pencil inside here. It looks like it's going to be white. Yep. So it's totally white. Interesting. So I'm guessing you put this on, it said to prime. So you put it on first and then put on the lip gloss and maybe it holds it on longer. What's it feel like? This feels like silicone. Interesting. I'm wondering if it would keep the lipstick or the lip gloss kind of within the lines too. I wonder if it works like that. I don't know. That's exciting from uh, Urban Decay. Okay. The next product is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It's a gel eyeliner in ebony. Comes in a box like that. Let's take a look at what this looks like. It looks like a pencil. Oh, it's very creamy though. It's like, so it's a gel eyeliner but in pencil form. That's what the swatch looked like. That's what the pencil looks like, but it just, honestly, it just glided on. It's very smudgeable. So that's kind of cool if you wanted to do a smoky eye. I wonder if I could go on the waterline. Interesting, I feel like we've had products from this brand before, but never the uh, gel eyeliner. All right, the next thing is from, ooh, It Cosmetics. Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I've actually wanted to try this. This is in the shade medium, which will probably be too dark for me, but we're heading into summer, so it's okay. CC cream, 50 plus SPF. It's a really good size, sample size. I'm very excited about this. Very, very excited about this. Oh, this leaked a little bit. Just gonna put some on my hand. See what the color looks like. I've heard great things. It's a very high coverage type BB. Product. As you guys know, if you watch my channel, how much I love BB creams. It's actually not too bad as far as color. I put it all along here. That's actually not bad at all for the current color I'm at. Ooh, that's exciting. Let me know if you want a first impressions on that or a review on that because I'm excited about that. All right, next thing is um, Briogeo Rosarco. Mm, Rosa Arco? Rose Arco. I'm gonna go with Rose Arco. Milk. Reparative leave-in conditioning spray. That's exciting. I don't own any leave-in sprays right now. I have the BB cream on my fingers. Just wipe that off so I don't get it all over everything. It doesn't really smell like much. I may have just sprayed my actual camera. That was really dumb. If I look all speckled right now, it's because I think I actually just sprayed my camera. Wow. So what happens when you film a video and you weren't planning on it and you're in a rush? Oh my goodness, the last product caught me off guard. This is from Saint Tropez, Instant Glow Body Lotion. Oh darn, I thought it would be their, one of their tanners. It says, one night only. Uh, I've used Saint Tropez, I use their tanning mitt, I've tried out their tanning stuff before, their lotion, like their... What's it called? You know, the stuff that tans you. But this looks like it's just a, yeah, just a body lotion. Still, is there a seal on that? I'm curious what it smells like. If it has any tint to it or anything. Anytime now. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe this is a tanner. I don't know. I need to read this first. I should read it. I don't want to end up with a weird splotch all over my hand. Um, oh, and it's leaking. 
It says golden rule, simply smooth over whole body using your hand or for best results our tanning applicator mitt. Allow to dry before getting dressed, wash off with soap and water, do's and don'ts. Don't apply it broken, irritated skin. Oh, it's a tanner. All right. So it's their tanner. I'm not sure why it's called lotion. That is so exciting. Look how big that is. Sorry guys, I'm rambling away. So what happens when I don't open things ahead of time and I'm like, ooh, what is this? Let me look at it. I forget that I'm recording. Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna try that out because I love self tanner. So yeah, that's an amazing bag. I'm really, really impressed. Huge self tanner, leave-in conditioner spray, the CC cream that was on my list to try anyways, the gel eyeliner, and the lip glosses and the like the lip primer. That's amazing! That's probably the best one we've ever gotten. I'm excited. Anyways, let me know what you got in your Ipsy bag in a comment down below. And if you haven't purchased Ipsy yet, it was $10 a month. So click the link below so that you can get it for yourself because that's crazy value. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!